people have not been doing raids as much as they used to be uh, doing since the remote raid uh, patch and the nerfing of remote raids when uh, happened. Pokemon Go raid participation reportedly sees a massive drop following remote raid nerf. So it's getting worse and worse for raids. Sooner or later, uh, either Niantic is going to have to decide, okay, time to pull the plug on raids. Nobody's doing them enough. enough. Uh, last Friday at night, uh, I was raiding and the numbers were not that great. Um, I was lucky enough to get a shiny Tapu Bulu, but numbers are not that great. The numbers, usually you get a full 20, but at the beginning of this patch, it, was, it wasn't felt until later on the, down the line, until people uh, started to figure out that Niantic is not going to listen to them no more. So people started... Uh, to protest not doing any more raids and or just quit the game in total and that has affected r raids and this is also when people are quitting the game when people are leaving the game and there's issues with the game and there's issues with updates people are gonna just blame leave and when it comes to challenges when it comes to catching challenges research challenges it's gonna take a lot longer than last time than the last few times to do some of these challenges. And I just saw the um, the ratings for the App Store, for the Apple App Store for Pokemon Go. They're at 3.8 stars. Seems like a lot of people use Android more than iPhone for their Pokemon Go uses. Pokemon Go uh, raid analytics site has released back-end stats that paint a pretty sour picture of the community's interest in raiding following remote raid pass. Like, there's no point. There's no point in doing them, especially if you're in rural areas and in a community that is dying down, even if it's like a, a big city, maybe a decent uh, community, or maybe a, the communities are dying, basically. Communities are dying. Every other city, major city, they're dying. So, yeah. As Pokemon Go fans are no doubt well aware by now, Niantic made the controversial decision to heavily nerf remote raid passes on March 30th, 2023, which took effect, uh, took effect on April 6th. The decision officially went into effect on April 6th, 2023, which a lot of people used all, all their raid passes, all their remote raid passes, and there you go. <laughs> Uh, many fans wondered if the gain would see any noticeable uh, in missed threats of boycott for raiding altogether. And uh, that was the one thing that will probably be more effect, an effect on the game, and that is uh, raids, which is n something that Niantic wants you to do, is go in person and raid, which is an, a way to them to collect their, their data. But when people are not raiding, anymore and people are not want to be safe they don't want to get harmed or they don't want to waste their time and, and money and effort on something that uh they can't do they 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 used to get and do a lot of re remote raids but it's over even though they said that what their decision was is to create the longevity and the sustainability of the game they literally just, just just killed the game in a month. In one month. Not even a month. We haven't even reached... reached this is the first. The first day of May. We haven't even reached the the, the 6th of May. Which would be the, the whole total month of... Since the patch work. For... Uh, it's ridiculous. The month of April was terrible for Niantic. A lot of issues, a lot of promises that were broken, uh, updates that were crashing, uh, game, the game. So Niantic was put into the ring of fire, and rightly so, for what they did. They literally are destroying their game. 
Now it seems that both the, both the game and community are already experiencing the fallout of the monumental decision, which I told you I experienced on Friday. That the dip in people rating now has affected the game. Has affected the game. So now you used to get like every hotspot uh, raid. If you ever watch my tr uh, streams, I go to hotspot raids. And every other hotspot raid that I go to, the, the numbers are not at the 20. Usually you get 20 people in some of these hotspots. Not anymore. These raids are not getting filled up. These raids are are, are almost going to be dying down. Especially if it's the same shiny that uh, other people already have. They're not going to waste their time. Or people are already quit. And people are feeling the effect. According to the back-end statistic of a popular raid simulator and ranking fan website, Pokemon Go raid participating is seeing a massive dip. I mean, massive drop. The information comes from Pokemon PokeBattler.com's Twitter account, which asked the community if there would be interest in seeing the uh, statistics for website and app traffic following the remote raid nerves on April 6th. We need to know how the game is going. And is the gameplay seeing a dip in gameplay? Uh, you got to exclude Community Day, which part is like the most uh, famous time to play or the most important time to play in the game because it's you get uh, a shiny boost. So it's easier to get shiny. So of course, of course people would, would want to participate. Say, oh, I got like 20, 30, 40, 50. A, a day later, a day later, the Twitter account posted images showing the back end analytics and said, "I will let you all discuss what it means. I am I too upset to put into words. Watching the app, you've been excited to build, finally take off, and then crash hard in is devastating." Events uh, graphs is first post are drawn are down seventy five percent April fifth versus April twentieth on the app website down twenty percent users uh, the uh, equals graphs is is in this post down fifty percent on app twenty six percent on the website my Poke Battler motivation is at an all time low hopefully usage comes back when popular raids return we will see um just like a Rayquaza Mega Rayquaza Mega Mewtwo would be the most popular raids that would come out um I don't know if that's gonna get people to play but this is not looking good uh this, the numbers are not looking good for Niantic this is not looking good uh, there's multiple factors that are leading into this and um no uh, they 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 deserve what they get. They deserve it. This is what they wanted. They wanted people to go in person, and people are not going to go in person. They probably are not going to use their stupid campfire thing now that they notice that people are are using this for nefarious reasons. <clears throat> to to rob, steal, and then it's not safe out there, especially at night. Uh, the um, the night raids are probably dead as well because of because um, it's, it's at night and you can't trust people at night. As fans would assume, the statistics are aren't positive. In fact, from April six to April twenty eighth, your traffic for for the website and app went down, a staggering fifty four percent, which. Uh, which is 54.75%, which is almost 55%. So 45% of the people are now uh, uh, still playing. Before the raid pass changes, uh, change in March, the site apparently averaged around 200,000 visitors a month, spiking for a total of nearly 800,000 during big raid events. Uh, <clears throat> However, following the change made in early in early April, the website garnered a fraction of that engagement. The Twitter 
account noted that my Poke Battler motivate is at an all time low. Hopefully usage comes back when popular raids return. We will see. I just read that. Okay. The community share their condolence to the site following the shocking statistics of wit, many also sharing why they lost interest in raids rating as of late. I really wanted to thank you for this app. It helped me a lot to do my raids. It's also is so simple and I am so sad that it turned out this way. I didn't do a single raid since the change. I am barely playing and live streaming the game since the change. I really wanted to thank you. F that's that's my that's my uh, gameplay. The only time I have ever live stream is for maybe either myself or somebody else, and that is it. I really wanted to thank you for this app. It helped me. Okay, I read that. I keep reading the same thing over and over. Um, of course, this is only one source of information from a fan website unaffiliated with Niantic, but, but I bet you if there's like a lot of websites that have this type of way of, of, of analytics and they were all the same or even worse, Niantic wouldn't be happy about this. Unaffiliated with Niantic, so trainers should take this, that information into account. Still, it's difficult not to see the evidence, this evidence, and f fear the worst for the Pokemon Go rating community in the upcoming months. You're going to see more people leave the game every single day. Every single day. And it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse until there's like maybe 50 million, 40 million, 20 million people still playing. And then the reviews are going to get it worse and worse, all the way to three maybe stars for each of the big major app companies. I mean, um, app stores, which is Apple, the Apple, the Apple Store, the apps, Apple App Store, and then the Google Play Store, two of the biggest uh, app stores in the world, and that's going to affect. That is, the ratings are going to affect the people downloading the game. Then, right now, Niantic is more focused on, and basically they have, this is part of what they want to do is destroy something and then build up something else, which is Monster Hunters, the next uh, AR mode game that they have created or are on creating with Capcom, which is probably not going to be as a success as successful as Pokemon Go. So, um, it's not good, man. They're too focused on other projects and they're not focusing on Pokemon Go. And if they're not going to be focusing on Pokemon Go as much and more focused on some other projects, then Pokemon Go is dead. They can do multiple things with Pokemon Go. They can do multiple things. They could do... Uh, extraordinary things with Pokemon Go as if they want to do it. But they are literally destroying the game that has made them billions of dollars in the matter of months. I don't know how it's going to be in the months of June and July or August, how the community is, if it survives the, the rest of the year all the way to the the fateful April 6th day. That's going to be the anniversary of the day Pokemon Go killed itself. It's over. It's over. Pokemon Go has literally just killed a community that had faith in coming back again. And there's a lot of people that are maybe coming back. And I saw in the, in the comment section uh, that in one of my videos that somebody came back or again... Um, congratulations to that person who came back. Um, glad you came back. Uh, had great time. You came back in a a tumultuous time when come when it comes to the game. When the game is killing itself. When the creators don't really care about the base anymore. 
the core base of the of the players that play every single day, like myself, have literally killed itself. Their base, they be, the base that they don't listen to anymore, and this game is over. This game is over. It is dead. When you have remote raids, not remote raids, but when you have raids that are dying down, that means that the community is dying down. When you, that means that there's no play in the game. You're not, people are not going to go around and catch Pokemon for hours and hours and hours. They like to raid. People like raiding. And you destroy something that they fell in love with, which is, which is something that they can go with people and hang out. People are not hanging out catching Pokemon. People are hanging out raiding. That's what people are doing. That's what they did. And that's how they built the community, by raiding with other players. You're going to have to win and beg on your knees to bring back players. Just like Bud Light. Just like Bud Light's doing, who's trying to beg with their stupid ads. Uh, trying to beg their customers to come back, which uh, if I was a customer, I wouldn't go back. If I was protesting Bud Light, I would not go back to them. Because why, why do you want to trust them again? Why do you want to trust these companies again? They're going to have to literally beg, grovel on their knees to beg to, for players to come back. They have literally lost the trust of these communities, these Pokemon Go communities. They lost the trust of me. They lost the trust of everybody. Everybody's upset. Everybody's so upset that they are willing to even death threat people who keep playing the game, which is wrong. Which is wrong. That's going too far. Peaceful protest. Peaceful protest. Affect them where it hits them the most. Don't play no more. Don't play no more. Don't ever play. Don't ever allow them. Delete the app. Um, I don't know. Even if you try, um, when it asks you to allow you to uh, allow the app to track you, delete it. That app. That's the only app that has not asked me to to allow them to track me. That's the only one that hasn't done that. Out of all the things that I, I got through my iPhone, that's the only one that has not asked me to allow me to track, allow them to track me. Every other app has, has asked me to allow them to track me, which I don't allow them to track me, which is not a good thing for these apps. They don't like that. They like data. They like to sell your data. And Pokemon Go made probably made a deal with um, with maybe Apple to allow them to track you. So the only way to stop them from allowing you to be tracked through that app is by just deleting it in total. Just delete the app. If you're gonna protest and not gonna play anymore, delete the app. Let me what, let me know how you feel about this, guys. About the article, what it says. Do you feel that there's a dip in people rating in in-person rating, not in just in-person rating, but in rating in total? You feel a dip? Is is this change has it has it affected gameplay? Have the numbers gone down when it comes to raids? Do you feel a difference between the the weeks and weeks uh, after? The patch on April 6th. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button. Share the video. And like I said, leave a link in the comment section. Let me know how you feel. Thank you for being here. And peace out.